A standard electrochemical cell is shown below. Sorry, this just says below. Uh, write down the function of component Y. So component Y is a salt bridge. And what it does is it separates the two half cells. Another one you can say is it maintains electrical neutrality. You can choose any of those. Sorry, that's just an A. Or you could even say, sorry, um, completes the circuit. Okay, this one, uh, sorry, that one's done. This one says, in which direction will electrons flow in the external? Choose from Ni to Mn or Mn to Ni. Okay, so we've got to try to figure out which way, is going, which way it's going to go. So we need to go look at our table. Okay, so step one, go find the two reactions on your table. So the Ni reaction is over here. And then the Mn, Mn, where are you? Mn, there. Okay, now, um, I'm using table 4B, and so if you've watched any of my videos, you would know that this is a galvanic cell. It happens spontaneously. So the only way it can happen spontaneously is if we look at the arrows. So you see that arrow is going up, and you see that arrow is going down. So choose the one on the left side that is the lower, so that's going to be this one. And then on the right-hand side, choose the one that's higher up, so that would be that one. And so that is how the reaction is going to go. So that means this one is gonna go in that direction, and that one is gonna go in that direction. So, let's try to figure this out now. So it tells us that the Ni is gonna have a reduction reaction, so it's gonna go Ni2 plus plus two electrons gives us Ni, I'm just copying that. And then this one is gonna go the other way, so this one's gonna go Mn turns into Mn2 plus, plus two electrons. So can you see that on this side, it's gonna use up two electrons? And then on this side, it's gonna give up, it's gonna give away two electrons. So what it means is, let's start over here. It tells us that the Mn is going to turn into Mn2 plus, and then there's gonna be two electrons given away. So those two electrons are gonna flow upwards like this, and then they're gonna be absorbed over here in this reaction, because you can see that the Ni2 plus is gonna add two electrons to itself to become Ni. So the electrons are gonna go in this direction, okay? So we are gonna say from Mn to Ni. Next question says, calculate the initial EMF. Now EMF is a formula on your formula sheet. It's the cathode minus the anode. Now, cathode is always the place where reduction happens, and then anode is always the place where um, oxidation happens. So you should know by now that a reaction that's written from left to right like this is a reduction reaction, and a reaction that's written from right to left like this is a oxidation. So um, your EMF is equal to the reduction value, so the reduction value is negative 0.27, minus your oxidation value, which is negative 1.18. So you're going to say negative 1.18. And if you calculate this, you end up with 0 0.91 volts. Okay, this next reaction, or this next question, sorry, says, write down the balanced equation for the net cell reaction. Okay, easy. So we've already got this one and we've already got this one. I'm just going to write them underneath each other. And then here we've got Mn turning into Mn2 plus plus two electrons. Okay, now to balance them, we always wanna make sure that these are the same. Luckily they are in this case. So we can just go put everything together now. So you see there's an arrow and an arrow. So everything on the left of the arrow will go together. So that'll be Ni2 plus, plus two electrons, plus Mn, now we're going to put everything on the right hand side of the arrow, so Ni plus Mn2 plus plus two electrons. Now the electrons are the same, so we actually get rid of those, and so there's your answer. That is your overall reaction. So next one says, um, the concentration of the Ni2 plus is increased, how will this affect the voltmeter? It's very easy what you do here. You literally use your knowledge of equilibrium and Le Chatelier. So if this if this concentration is increased, 
then what will happen? The system will try to decrease that. How will it make this, how will it decrease this? Well, it'll do that by favoring the forward reaction. So when the forward reaction is favored, the voltage goes up, voltage goes up. When the reverse is favored, then the voltage goes down. Okay, so what will happen to the voltage? It will increase.